Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. 24 hours passed after the start of the parking wars. I want to show you what I was able to get so far. So let's start with the mount remodeling. Every time you are going to increase the level of your mount between the level 1 and 9, you are going to get 8% attack, HP and defense increase. But be careful because apparently when you are going to reach the level 10, it's going to give to you more stats. 16% attack, HP and defense instead of only 8% so double the stats. I have currently 110k parking coins. I bought nothing so far. I'm saving my coins to buy some decorations. So now let me show you some of the rewards I get. After parking one mount during 5 hours and 37 minutes, this is that one, I was able to get one key to get some extra pal and skill coupons, some uh, soul essence, some lamps, a red skill, and a bit of other stuff. 3,300 experience for that mount, and 6,000 parking coins. Then, on my plane, after 7 hours, I was able to get multiple pals, red ones, a key to get more clock winders, some more experience for my mounts, some clock winders, hammers, lamps and gold. 4,200 experience for that mount, and 8,000 parking coins. So that's pretty cool. 8 hours on that mount, I was able to get 1 key to farm more relic shards, 500 relic shards, 20 hammers, 70 lamps and a bit of gold, 4800 experience for that mount and 6150 parking coins. So this is still pretty good. After 8 hours with that paid mount, 1 scroll for my class, more experience, 200 lamps, 3 soul crystal, some skip coupons, some ore, and some hammers. 12k parking coins, 4800 experience for that mount. And then on the public spot, with that mount, the motorcycle, this is what I was able to get after 4 hours. 8500 parking coins, 3600 experience for that mount, some fruits, some extra ore, hammers, lamps, gold and one key to get extra pal coupons and skill coupons. So, in my opinion, the rewards are pretty cool. And then, this is what I got this morning. On my Horizon Racer car, this is what I get this morning. 12,000 coins, 4,800 experience for that mount, and some extra rewards inside, so this is pretty cool. Then, that was on another paid mount. I got two lamp keys, one key to get extra clock windows, a scroll and other stuff as well, so this is pretty high. Then on a normal mount, I got that, pretty cool too. And finally on the first mount we have the nenuphar, I have that inside. Oh and something pretty funny too, if you have a look to the screen, I am two times shown on the screen. In fact this is because it's my own parking, okay? And if someone comes and pays your fee, then this is you that is shown there, instead of the other player. And in fact, if players want to plunder that guy, they have to defeat you instead. So this is a kind of protection. So if someone is weaker than you, they can pay your fee on your parking, and you are going to protect them, they are going to collect more resources that way. So it's pretty cool if you are in a guild, ask your guildmates if you can park in their parking. If they have more power than you, they are going to protect you, and you are going to give a bit of your resources to them, but if they are not asking for a high fee, it might help you a lot. So now, it seems like I'm going to have to park my cars again. And there we go, I parked my 5 cars again. And I'm not going to pay any tax, because I am stronger than the players owning the parkings. And this is my own. That one is paying the tax, apparently. I think I'm gonna lower the tax by a bit, I'm gonna put 8%, this is not a lot, and so maybe more players are gonna come there, pay the tax, and I'm gonna get more rewards this way. So guys, that was all for the video, I hope that you enjoyed it, uh, I'm curious to know in the future when I'm gonna unlock other mounts, what am I gonna get, because these are the mounts I get. And I'm currently waiting for that one, and these are the rewards I should be able to get after. Which is pretty cool, but I'm far away from getting that. 
So I'm gonna have to be patient. Or I can maybe decide to buy that one. Might be a good idea, I don't know yet. Feel like I have to wait and buy that one directly before buying the sword. Let me know what you think about that in the comment below. I hope you enjoyed the video. If it's the case, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Have a nice day and see you in the next one. Bye bye.